and welcome back to Mr. Dig's Deals. I'm Mr. Dig. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. I sell on uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace and eBay is my main uh, source of uh, selling. Uh, I source from uh, charity shops, car boots, and basically anywhere I can lay my hands on stuff basically. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all, all your sales are going okay out there. Uh, I've had a bad week myself. It's the twentieth, I believe, at the minute. Um, so yeah, I've had a pretty decent week with sales. Um, not as quick and as fast as I'd like to think uh, to have sales go, but things have improved. Um, so yeah, welcome to the my latest video. Uh, if you're finding me for the first time, uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe and leave a comment down below, and don't forget to. Uh, Ding the little bell for future content. Uh, this is a charity shops uh, pickup video. Um, I'm so used to doing car boot ones now, as I've been going to car boots. My next car boot is tomorrow, yeah, the 21st. Um, and I'll be there'll be a video out sometime about two or three days after that. So yeah, want to see that? Make sure you hit the bell, like and subscribe. Really helps me out. Much appreciated. Anyway, enough waffle. Um, I picked up a few things today from charity shops. Have been um, a bit hit and miss, but the stuff I have picked up has been pretty decent, to be honest with you. And there's a couple of things I've picked up that I wouldn't normally pick up. Uh, just testing out the waters as you do, broaden my knowledge, and hopefully see how that goes. Um, but as most of you know by now, I'm heavily into media, so I'm going to start with the media. Um, Ten DVDs. Still for a pound in one of my charity shops, which I'm never going to complain at. Um, so let me just tell you what I've take you through what I've got. We have for any fishing enthusiasts out there, uh, three box DVD set of Bob Nudd fishing masterclass. Um, and I say ten for a quid, ten p each. This by itself is not really worth much. Probably four to five quid by itself. But there's my, there's my pound back, and the rest is. Uh, history, so to speak, gravy. Uh, a nice sealed uh, slim in six. Uh, a lovely DVD set. Um, quite a few DVDs in there. Now this by itself, this is worth about eight to twelve pound, depending on where I price it. Uh, and obviously, uh, now gyms and stuff are opening up, and people slim to keep fit while they can, um, and sealed. Uh, a nice little addition to the shop, to the eBay shop. Um, a film I've never seen, uh, Panic Room. Uh, not entirely sure who's in it, but again, for 10p. Um, I think it might be like a Netflix sort of film. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a sealed, uh, and this is, he's a very funny man, with his slip cover. Bill Bailey uh, in... Limbo Land. Um, not, not seen this one before, but it's uh, in seal condition of the Tempe. Uh, I think that one's probably worth about four to five pound. That one by itself. So again, investment safe. Um, and we have a few games now as well. Uh, Warhammer: Dawn of War, three disc edition. Um, again, I was a bit surprised about the this because this is only about a four three to four pound gain but obviously for 10p and to get the bundle for, for 10 for a quid i thought you know what uh playstation 2 final fantasy i think that's 10 i think uh, in great condition uh that is uh i think an eight pound gain by itself uh so i'm ple always pleased to pick uh, games up uh, Lego Batman the video game for the Wii again in great condition still has the original receipt in there for £11 and um, so quite pleased to pick a Wii game up and that again is about a four four to six pound game depending on where you price it and what the competition is on there at the time uh, my first as a reseller a Nintendo Games Cube game now, I know these are quite rare at 
cow can be quite rare at car boots and charity shops and it's the first one I've came across but unfortunately this is not worth much this is probably about a five pound game but again because I'm, I'm already made money on whatever is in the bundle uh, and this one is Finding Nemo for the Games Cube and again in great condition uh, another decent game original price on this one was 34.99 uh, and this is a um, decent little game it's for the Xbox Kinect Kinect Sports Season 2 um, again in decent condition with the manual and the, the uh, disc itself and we're talking about a six to eight pound game for that now for all intents and purposes this next one looks still to be sealed now this one is uh, and again it, another connect game for the xbox 360 zumba fitness join the party now at some point in this game's life, this was at, at the uh, R Street Store game. And the seal is still sealed there. Now, I don't know whether that means that somebody's bought it directly from the shop. Or they've actually bought it, donated it to the shop. And if you can do things like I don't know with the game, because I only have a, a going game. But I think, to be honest with you... For all intents and purposes, I'm going to try and sell that new. Because obviously, as you can see, the seal is not broken on that. Which, for all intents and purposes, we're talking about a £10 to £12 game uh, for that. So I was quite pleased to, to find that. Um, nice little addition. And again, for my pound, I think out of all this lot, I think it's pretty safe, don't you? To be quite honest with you, it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? So... so I'll always do 10 DVDs for a pound, sealed or otherwise. If I think I can make some money on it, then I will. Uh, and like I say, most of the stuff I've picked up have been pretty decent prices. So, hence the title of this video, Buying Low to Sell High. So, and I found this bad boy, this beast, about as big as my head. Uh, a nice uh, Mickey Mouse uh, mug. Uh, mornings aren't pretty. Um, you can see that, and I paid one one no sorry two ninety nine for that. Sick is still on it, and it's in great condition. A few fair few cups of tea or coffee out of that, uh, and yeah, um, currently there's one listed for about fifteen pound, and and about three fifty posters and packaging on there. So if I can just get fifteen ninety nine for that. Or probably a little high. I might price that a little bit higher and see. And advertise it as free posting. Because uh, the other one is um, postage on top of what they're asking for it. So so yeah, it's quite, I'll, I'll always pick these sort of things up all day long, to be quite honest with you. Um, just put that on there. Another thing I don't normally pick up. And I'm taking a leaf out of a certain Mr George Ross's book here. Is... Shoes. First time I picked up any sort of shoes in, from a charity shop or car boot, to be quite honest with you. Now, what these are, are a, they are size 9 and they are Tough Kings. They are steel toe-capped toe-tectors. Pretty solid ones. And I and these, like I say, they're a size 9. They've hardly been worn, in great condition. And I paid four. 99 for those now being toe tectors being a sort of a specialist shoe uh, new with tags as you can see um, I'm looking to get about 25 to about 35 pound back on these uh, and, and being a size 9 which is quite a decent size in, in a men's shoe I think if I price them right these won't hang around too long so I'm quite happy to start and pick shoes up to, to try them out uh, and now we have come to uh, my bread and butter items all through lockdown but I know lockdown's no longer with us so to speak um, but um, I'll always pick up seal jigsaws I no longer pick up pre-owned because it's way too long to try and sort pieces out 
see if they're all there and stuff like that. So I only generally pick up puzzles. Now this is by Raven Ravensburger, which is a decent um, uh, name to look out for in jigsaws. And this one is Going North St Pancras. A thousand pieces, uh, new and sealed. I pay one fifty for this, and I'm looking to get about fifteen, about fifteen pound back for that that one. Um, yeah, and all 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 jigsaws that are sealed tend tend to go pretty well, depending on what you pay for them. Um, that down there, <clears throat> and the next one, and even better. Is this bad boy? Two thousand pieces again, sealed. Um, I, I think that's the uh, Taj Mahal. I think it is, um, and it's by Blatz, uh, a brand I've never never heard of. Um, and looking at current listing the solder complete, I think from a one pound fifty, I can get at least twenty four ninety nine for that. Um, and I was quite pleased to pick pick that up to be quite honest with you. Um, so yeah, for one pound fifty, I don't think I'm going to go wrong, far wrong with that. Um, now a bit of a fail, which is a which you do you tend to get. Um, I did pay up a little bit for this game, thinking because it to do with social media, it might uh, do pretty well to be honest with you, but. Well, the other thing, I only put, even though this was priced up at three forty nine, they only charge me uh, five pound for the for the two this one and something else I've got to the side of me. Now this is social media meltdown board game, the humorous game of social connectivity, two to four players, uh, and sadly, like I said, this for two forty nine, I would have expected to get about twelve to fifteen pound back on this. But sadly, we're only talking possibly six to seven pound back on that, and after fees, uh, either break even or just double my money on that. Which I guess, if for a listings filler, I was hoping more for it, but you know what I mean, can't can't win them all. Uh, so yeah, that I might decide to store that for Christmas because obviously, as we all know, I know. Sorry to mention the word, um, but. Um, Games seem to go for a lot more towards the uh, Christmas time period, so put that on and see, wait, wait for that to see how that goes. Now, uh, this again, I paid two forty nine for. Now, for all intents and purposes, this to me, and and, and I'll tell you why in a minute, is still new and sealed, despite the little bit of box damage. Uh, and that's only why it's new and well, I think it's new and sealed. A woman said it was new and sealed. It's because along there you've got the little tag that you can just tear off. And she only priced it up at two forty nine because of that, because of the box damage. And for what I can see, looking inside, it is still all in its original packaging. Now this is like a motorised uh, one, and when looking uh, at current listings and solar complete, there are a lot of these over in Canada, and they're selling them for about twenty nine, twenty seven to about twenty nine dollars plus a ridiculous amount of shipping. So, having said that, I couldn't see one of these listed new in this country. Uh, and like I say, I'll advertise it as new in box with a little bit of box damage. I'll take the pictures to to show to show the uh, potential customers. Um, I'm going to aim pretty high for this. I'm going to aim for about twenty nine ninety nine to about thirty four ninety nine, possibly with best offers. I don't know yet. Just depends, um, and see where that gets me, because. I'm quite happy to sit on that for a little while and reduce the price and see and see how I get on. Um, so yeah, Meccano, decent break, make. Uh, and, and I've obviously been motorised um, a little bit much short after than other standard Meccano sets. Uh, and then finally, 
I think. Oh no, not finally, sorry. Uh, again, something else I pick, picked up that I wouldn't normally pick up, but based on what brand it is and what name it is, I thought I'd give it a go. And the price I paid for it, it was four items for a pound. And what I picked up was wallpaper. Now, not just any old wallpaper. We have Laura Ashley wallpaper. Uh, stripy white and blue. Uh, and it's called... Uh, the colour is cham chambre white colour wash stripe. Now... Knowing that Laura Ashley is a well-recognised brand and wallpaper of this mate go, can go for silly money. As I say, I didn't just pick up one. I picked up two, three, four rolls. And along with the game, these were in a dump bin outside the charity shop. That I'd already been in and I was about to walk past until I looked down to the floor and in this dump bin was loads of other bits and pieces and with this wallpaper and I never thought of it. I saw the game, I picked the game up. Uh, incidentally, like folks have say, uh, five things for a pound. Uh, so uh, 20p, that's about a four to five pound game, that one by itself. So money's back on that. So in closer inspection of the wallpaper, I realised when I saw the name Laura Ashley, I thought, yeah, okay, for 20p a roll, I would be mad to leave that behind. Uh, having said that, I'm looking at current listing souls and completes. Three rolls of this sold for about £25. I've got four, but most of the listings, and there's not a current listing of this batch, uh, or uh, anything like this one on Facebook, uh, sorry, eBay at the minute. So I'm going to go potentially higher at 20p a roll, 80p the lot. I can afford to sort of price, uh, price that at about 40 to £50 for the four rolls and take best offers. Like I say, at 80p for four rolls. Quite happy for it to sit there. Quite happy for it to, to, to take offers on it and reduce price if needed. Um, and I guess what I'm trying to say is if at any point you go to a charity shop and they've got bins on the floor or bins outside, make sure you always look in them because you obviously never know what you can find. Uh, now finally for the, for the last one. Now. This is a little bit of a mystery. Not a mystery as such, but I'm not sure where to price it. Um, this is a wireless optical, Microsoft wireless optical mouse. Now, as most of you know, Mr. Diggs doesn't do technology really, to be quite honest with you. It's too much taxing on the brain cell. But, when I scan this into Google Lens, because I've started using Google Lens now, there was one that came up over in I think either America or Canada somewhere like that and brand new because it's still sealed and what have you they were asking £137 for this now to me just for a mouse that seemed pretty steep now this is in sort of foreign language I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that to be honest with you uh, but the one that scanned up and is identical to my, to my one, there is a little bit of a box variation from mine and the one that came up. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it looked exactly the same as mine. Now, a little bit more research is needed because I haven't uh, scanned or checked uh, the codes or anything like that on there. Just use Google Lens. And like I say, I don't expect to get over 100 quid for a mouse. I wouldn't even dream of it unless one of you guys can tell me different and leave the comments below. I'll probably want to put this on for about 49.99, uh, being new and sealed. Um, but again, before I do that, more, more research is needed. 
But that was, believe it or not, 50p in the uh, charity shop closing down sale. That's going on at the minute in one of my charity shops. So yeah, as you can see, quite a varied selection of things. Something new for me as well. Wallpaper and shoes. Uh, same old stuff with the media. Uh, but again, depending on what you guys pay for it, uh, there's money to be made in some DVDs and games and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, if you want to comment below on any of the stuff you've seen, Please feel free to leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're going to find me for the first time. Um, always looking for new subscribers. And without you guys I wouldn't do these videos. So thank you very much. So until next time. Live long and prosper. Happy selling. Hope things working out for you guys out there. Because I know some of you are still having tough times. Um, but got to remember now. We're... A period where we've got a little bit more freedom, a little bit more movement. People are out and about. People are doing things, sitting in beer gardens, meeting up with the friends and spending money that way. So uh, hopefully it'll get better um, and just see how we go. So till next time, all the best. Thank you for subscribing. Till next time. Cheers, guys, girls. Bye bye.